Greetings and salutations. Well, I'm Bob Shepard here with not one, not two, but three collector boxes this time. Double masters, I say nay. Triple masters, because let's let's face it, we know that one day <laughs> Watsy is going to do it. I mean, at this point, to me, it's a foregone conclusion that triple masters is eventually inevitable. Because Papa Hasbro got to get that money, right? Not that I'm complaining, because here I am cracking the product and enjoying the product don't necessarily enjoy the price or the underprinted or the maybe lies about underprinting but oh my god Watsy, why why did you have to make these packages so terrible so i'm just gonna take these four stack right there probably going to be the last collector boxes of double masters i do for the time being but who knows honestly in part it depends on the market for the boxes themselves because they went down a little bit and then they went right back up and they haven't come down since and they will probably just continue to climb i don't know vip packs never really dropped that much vip packs reached a low pretty early on and then just kind of stayed there so I'm not holding my breath for these dropping too incredibly much if you compare them to VIP packs of Double Masters 1. Stay in your lane, sir. So we got Flicker Wisp, Coiling Oracle, Thought Scour for the foil along with Inquisition into Imperial Archangel. That's just fine. To a Bloodforge Battle Axe. There's some very wicked art. Not the best hit. Grand Arbiter. Always hate to see you around. And Panharmonicon. So starting off a little a little slow, but the Panharmonicon is uh, honestly just, just a beautiful piece of artwork. That is one of the main reasons I wanted to crack these packs. And one of the things I think most people love about Double Masters 1 and 2 is these amazing new borderless arts that we're seeing. Oops, positioning world tours. Unearth, Bloodbraid Elf, into a Venser Shaper Savant. Not great, not terrible. What do we got? We got Alandra the Dusk Rose. I know there are a lot of fans of Richard Kate Ferguson and I like some of his work, but this is just so busy. It's just so much. Into a Marchesa, the Black Rose. And we follow it up with Dak Faden, reaching for that foily Aether Vial. That, that's a nice little card. I also just love the fact that it's like, if you look at the Aether Vial, it's essentially the, the Kaladesh master, masterpiece, masterwork invention version of it that Dak is stealing. And I think that's just really, really neat. Burning Tree, Azorius Jones 3, the Ridiculous Quizali Pride Mage, Flieger Wisp, and Bring to Light. This is a fun little card. It's a fun little card, and that's all I have to say about that. Grim Flare, wow, more rich came person. Green Sun Zenith in Etched. That's, I think that actually is going to hold some weight going into the future. The last one, mid oh, it's not, it's not textured, but who cares at this point? It's a thing of beauty. Ren and six. Okay, okay. Let's see what other spice this box has, because that's gonna that is, that is almost impossible to top. That is oh, god, I I, I'm cracking the packs out of sheer will at this point because I just kind of want to stare at that card. Spell Pierce, Selesnia Sanctuary. Is it Boilerworks? I don't know, is it? Mentor of the Meek, I remember when you were a rare. Bedlam Reveler for the nothing rare. Bloom Tender, solid, solid little card. Fiery Justice, and we have a Supreme Verdict in foil. Not, not anything special, not anything fancy, but uh, it is a pretty little card, and it will slot nicely into a uh, one of my commander decks. Let's go. This is actually the third box I opened. So let's go one, three, two, because we're being weird. Can we get anything better than a full 
foily Ren and Six Boy. So that that is tough to beat. That is that is one of those. I think that's one of the top cards. I mean, the, obviously the the super fancy texture version, but even the regular version I think is going to hold some good value. Mirror Aqueduct, Boros Garrison into Thistledown Liege. I think that is that the first Liege I've seen in a while, actually. Mana Drain. Okay, it's not foil, but uh. I mean, it's no random six foil, but still, mana drain. That's a that's a playable card. Oh wow! Here we go. Again, coming through with a decent etched hit in Emil the Blessed and Lilian. Oh, oh, you see it. Oh, Renin, Renin six, Renin six. Fairly new Planeswalker. Not a lot of different variations. I'm trying. If you can see that, and Liliana is like, nah. I'm one of the OG Planeswalkers. Hold my zombie. That gets a special place. That gets its own place. We did it. We got we got a texture foil, baby. We got a texture foil, Liliana. And as somebody who is currently, I mean, I'm always brewing commander decks, but one of the ones that I I've been wanting to put together for a while, and I know a lot of people have Demir zombies, but I've been wanting to put together a Demir zombies list. Uh, and that is going to be the showpiece of that deck. Rampic Room, Thin Foil, Grim Flare. Doc! Wow! Okay, so far, box, technically box three, but the second one I'm opening is coming out first. You get. Was Mana Drain in this box? Yes. So we start with a Mana Drain and Textured Foil Liliana, and now we go Dockside, Hostage Taker, into the beautiful, ugh, beautiful Vidalcan Orrery. So, uh, honestly, I don't know why I'm opening these packs. This box has already just kind of delivered anything and everything I could want. All my hopes and dreams and wishes wrapped up into one. I am... I am a little delirious. Because, wow, those two packs back-to-back -back were ridiculous. Swift Spear. Grohl Turf. New Death Man Nim Death Mantle. To another Blood Forge Battle Axe. To a Supreme Verdict etched. And a Grim Flare foil. So that was the that was the mer mer pack. But honestly, at that point, like if I call that a met met pack, anybody in the comments would be like, "You got a texture Liliana and a Mana Drain and a Dock Side. What are you complaining about?" And you were absolutely right. Everything else, these these last two packs, these are just gravy. These are just bonus. We are in bonus time, <laughs> basically. Is it Boiler Works? I don't know. Is it Golgari Rot Farm? Man, I'm getting a lot of the Selesnia. As foretold. Okay. Aether Vial Standard. Not going to complain about that one. Pretty, pretty card. Imperial Archangel in the etched. And the last one ooh, is Lalendra the Dusk Rose. Which I think I got in non foil and an Aether Vial in foil. So swapping places. But we're coming to the last four. The second box. Technically, I mean, technically it doesn't. I guess it matters. When does a box count? When you crack the packs or when you remove the packs from the box? When does it count? Oh, Quizzoli, Quizzoli, Slayer Wisp, Orzov Basilica, Tolerant in Sky, Summoner, Glimpse the Unthinkable. That is a solid, solid one right there. Into Kevrick the Merciless. Into. No. <laughs> what? What? Okay, what is my luck? Because, see if I can get the angle right, because I can see it, but it, I'm trying to get it to show up on camera. Kind of see it right there. Oh, yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Back-to-back <laughs> -back boxes. So, I should, I should note, I didn't buy a case. I just bought multiple boxes from different sources. So, apparently, because it's usually one textured foil per case, uh... I got the boxes out of two different cases with those texture foils. I am sorry to people who got boxes out of those cases and uh, didn't get texture foils. What even is this set? Oh my god. Oh, everything. Yep, yeah, we, we're, once again, we're completely in bonus time. This is ridiculous. Inquisition of Kozilek, Boros Garrison, This Merciless Dude, Who Cares, Kolagon's Command. 
Joda, Archmage Eternal, in etched. Don't know if that's going to be worth anything. I mean, the regular one's not really worth anything, even though he is a somewhat popular Wooberg commander into a mythic... Oh, oh, oh beautiful foil concordant crossroads. We're down to two packs. Uh, no Imperial Seal, but, um, I mean, if you saw my the first double masters opening i did you know that uh that's not a problem i have one in my collection now <laughs> rakdos carnarium mentor of the me doubling up like you do in it the dreamer mimeoplasm got enough of those micaeus etched that's kind of interesting and we got a rare we got a foil finally at least i got a foil blood forge battle axe now I have three of them, and I don't know what to do with any of them. But, oof. Last pack. Now, my last pack in my last video was one of the first times I had a final pack deliver. Will this... Fi I mean, it's there's no way this pack is going to beat either of these textured planeswalkers. But will it deliver? Spell Pierce Foil. Seeker of the Way. Cause of Luck. This was in, this was in the first... Was this in this video? This might have been the previous video, and I'm just bleeding them together. Kozilek, Foil, Standard Cozy, Dragon Lord Dromoka, Obnixilus Unshackled, and it's a rare Assassin's Trophy. Not terrible. Actually pretty good. But uh, I mean, let's just let's just take a look. I mean, obviously Lily. Concordant Crossroads is pretty high up there. I am a fan of the Vidalcanori. Regular Rand 6, Aether Vile. Some really, really beautiful spice. Glimpse the Unthinkable, Aether Vile. I mean, Dockside, really. It's Dockside and Mana Drain. And Bloom Tender's pretty solid, but it's it's all about Dockside and Mana Drain. But then, yeah, get you another. Just be very... It's, it's, it's easy to see in person. It's hard to get on camera unless you get like the perfect angle to see that they are indeed like in person you can see it it does not appear on camera very well you can kind of see there but two textured foil Liliana Last Hope Renin 6 I am overwhelmingly happy and excited to have these babies in my collection i've been my mom shepherd this has been double masters 2022 quite the spicy box openings i will catch you on the flip side